Good day. Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Matatag Curriculum, Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 1. Our topic for today is about Collect data with time elements using appropriate sources. Present data in a tabular form or in a single line graph. Interpret data presented in a tabular form or in a single line graph. And solve problems using data for at most two variables in a tabular form or in a single line graph. Day 1 Short review Identify what type of graph is it. Number 1 So the answer is pick to graph. Number two. The answer is bar graph. Number three. Line graph. Number four. Circle graph or pie graph. Activity number two. Analyze the situation, then answer the questions that follows. Joanna owns a grocery store. One of the products she sells in her store is ice cream. During the first week of May, her weekly ice cream sells are as follows. I have here guide questions. In number one, in what day is the ice cream sales lowest? The answer is Monday. Number two, in what day is the ice cream sales highest? So the answer is Sunday. Number three, what is the total weekly ice cream sales? So the answer is 3,840 pesos. Based on the table, what can you infer about the ice cream sales? So the answer is, the ice cream sales are high during weekends. Number 5. Do you think there is another way of presenting the data in the table? So the answer is, yes a mathematical concept data is a collection of facts and figures that can be in numerical or non-numerical form data collection refers to the systematic process of gathering measuring and recording data this may be done through surveys interviews and observations a table is an arrangement of data typically in rows and columns that summarizes it in easy to understand format a line graph is used to display data that shows chains over time a series of data points connected by a straight line segment day two have here the steps in presenting data in tabular form in presenting data in tabular form, first, determine the needed number of columns and rows. Number two, 
label properly the first row of the table depending on the data collected you may also use the first column for this number three include a title that briefly describes the data presented I have here a work sample JSL, a resident of Liliu, interviewed the owner of Badong's footwear to determine number of pairs of slippers this sold each month last 2022 according to the owner this sold 125 pairs in January 200 pairs in February 175 pairs in March 475 pairs in April 50 pairs in May 100 pairs in June 300 pairs in July 150 pairs in August 150 pairs in September 50 pairs in October 350 pairs in November and 400 pairs in December Solution First, decide on the number of rows and columns needed You may use two columns for the months and number of pairs sold and 13 rows Write down the labels and data from the situation In January, we have here 125, February 200, March 175, April 475, May 50, June 100, July 300, August we have here 150, September 150, October 50, November 350, and December 400. Lastly, include a title that briefly describes the table. We have here pairs of slippers sold per month for the year 2022. Day 3 Steps in presenting data in single line graph. Number 1. Draw a vertical scale with tick marks. Label the tick marks and give the scale a label number two draw a horizontal scale with tick marks number three label the tick marks and give the scale a label number four plot a dot in each data value number five connect the dots and give the graph a title work example your teacher in home economics wanted you to determine the number of Sari Sari stores, six barangays of your municipality. The table below shows your observation. Let us present the data using a single line graph. First, create horizontal and vertical scale with tick marks. Label the tick marks and label the scale. Next is to plot each data value then connect it. So in Kanurang Bukal, we have here 10 number of Sari Sari stores. Ilayang Padlina, we have here 3. Maslong, 5. Borgos, 7. Oples, 1 and Masika 4 then connect it using a line and lastly give it a title we have your Sari Sari stores per barangay day 4 draw and interpret draw a line graph and answer the question that follows. A mini zoo recorded the number of their visitors for six days. We are going to draw a line graph that represents the record of the mini zoo.
First, create horizontal and vertical scale with tick marks and label the tick marks and label the scale. Next is to plot each data value. So in day 1, we have here 200, day 2, 600, day 3, 400, day 4, 350, day 5, we have here 800, and day 6, we have here 500. Then connect it using a line. Lastly, give it a title. Zoo visitors. Now let us answer this problem. Number one, how many visitors were there on day three? So the answer is 400. Number two, how many more visitors were there on day five than on day one? So the answer is 600. Number three, how many fewer visitors were there on day six than on day two? So the answer is 100. Number four, how many days did the zoo have fewer than 500 visitors? So the answer is three days. Number five, if the ticket per visitor cost 150 pesos, how much is the ticket sale on day one? So the answer is 30,000 pesos. Day five, formative assessment. Analyze the situation presented on a line graph. Answer the question that follows. George works as a salesman in an authorized car showroom. He records the number of cars he sold in five days, Monday to Friday, on a line graph. So we have here the line graph. Let's answer the question. Number one, how many cars were sold in five days? Number two, on which day? were the maximum number of cars sold. Number three, how many days did George have sold cars fewer than six? Number four, how many more cars were sold on Tuesday than on Monday? Number five, if a car cost 850,000 pesos, how much did he sell on Tuesday? So I have here the answer K. Quiz time, let's answer this. Read its item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, how many parents have children in grade four? A, 23, B, 47, C, 48, D, 55. Time's up. The answer is letter C, 48. Number two. How many parents joined the Brigada Escuela? A, 250. B, 270. C, 275. D, 280. Time's up. The answer is letter B, 270. Number three, in which grade level are parents the fewest? A grade one, B grade two, C grade three, D grade four. Time's up. The answer is grade two. Number four, what is the difference? In the number of parents with children in grade 1 and grade 6 a 17 b 18 c 19 
D20. Time's up. The answer is B, 18. Number 5. An average is the sum of the numbers divided by the total number of values in a group. If you calculate the average number of parents for these grid levels, what is the result? A, 42. B, 43. C, 44. D, 45. Time's up. The answer is D, 45. Number 6. In which month did the highest number of students visit the clinic? A, August. B, September. C, October. D, November. Time's up. The answer is C, October. Number 7. In which month did the fewest number of students visit the clinic? A. August B. September C. October D. November Time's up. The answer is D. November Number 8. How many more students visited the clinic in October compared to August? A5, B10, C15, D20. Time's up. The answer is letter C15. Number 9. In which month? Did the number of students visiting the clinic decrease compared to the previous month? A. September B. October C. November D. December Time's up. The answer is C. November Number 10 in which month was there the most significant increase in the number of students visiting the clinic compared to the previous month? A. September B. October C. November D. December Time's up. The answer is B. October That's all for now. Thanks for watching.